Setting goals is just, it became a part of my whole career. I was advised by um, a coach that I had when I was growing up called Dave Goodwin. He was my district team manager, a great guy. And he said, you've got to write down targets. Set yourself some goals that are achievable, but are just a bit over there that you can get to. So for instance, when I was about 13, I said that I want to be a regular in the West Ham team, start every game and maybe get a game or two for the year above, which was hard to do. And by the middle of that season, I'd play, I was regular in the team. I'd achieved the goal of getting into the team above. Then, right, I want to, I want to make, can I get to 10 games this, by the end of the season? Can I play 10 games for the year above? And that's how it continued all the time. Then it was like, I want to get into the trials for England, get into the England in, under 17s team, and into the first team or the reserve team of, of West Ham when I was 17 years old. You just set targets all the time and I just continue to do that. Even when I become a professional footballer, there was more targets that I set myself, winning the league, winning cups, being voted as the best player uh, in my position, clean sheets for a season. Like all little targets, silly little targets, some people might think it's innocuous. It doesn't mean anything, but to you, it's a goal, it's something there to reach out at, to keep on improving. So again, when you have the moments in training where you're on the way to training, you're thinking, I can't bother today. I really can't be bothered to this today, I'm so tired. Them little targets, you're thinking, I've got to try and get them targets that I've, that I've set myself. They're little goals in your own head that you're playing games with, that you're trying to get to, that are other things that can spur you on as well, in them days when you do need that little extra push. I always feel if you haven't got a target to, to aim for, a goal to aim for, you're kind of just blowing in the wind. You're kind of just, you, you, you can lose focus of where you're meant to get to. So if you've got a goal and you've got an aim there, it keeps you on a track and there's a pathway. There's my target that I want to get to. First of all, I identify how am I going to get to that target? What do I need to do? How do I train? And then achieve the target. That's the way I looked at it the whole time. I used to write my targets down, but I didn't have to go to them all the time because once you wrote it down, it's imprinted in your mind. You know your target, you know where, where what you've got to do. I spent more time thinking about what I need to do to get there. Do I need, what do I need to work on? What do, how do I need to train? Do I need to go and watch someone a little bit to try and get to that and to improve in that area? And so it was more about the, the, the path there than the actual goal. I didn't think about the goal to, uh, as much. It was the more about the doing, what do I need to do? I never had a vision of like 10 years down the line. It was hard to put time in on a lot of things. Like I, I always wanted to play for a team that could win the league. So, but I never said, I've got to do that in a two year window. It was just like, that will come if I keep working on what I'm doing and keep putting in big performances. I think you set the little goals with the idea that if I hit these little goals continuously, the big achievement of playing for England, playing for the best team in the country, winning things will come. But you've got to get the little goals and you've got to keep ticking them off. And that's how, that's how I work the whole time. Telling people about goals and stuff like that, that wasn't really something I'd done. That was quite personal. I kept to myself, if I'm honest. Um, I'd write it down and put it on a bit of paper that no one's really going to see it. Because I used to think I was nervous that I set a goal, tell my mates, and I don't achieve it. Again, pride, ego, confidence. I didn't want to affect that. So if I didn't make, make a goal, which it happened, I didn't get to some goals, the goal then would just be pushed on to a later date and I'd try and achieve it at a later date. So, but I'm not embarrassed and I've not lost any confidence through telling other people and they're going, well, you haven't hit that goal, have you? You've not got there. So I didn't put that pressure on myself. Although there was pressure from within that I, I need to get to this, this place, I need to get to these goals as quick as I can. It's better pressure coming from yourself than else from outside. Like the idea of setting goals is, let me just look, because I, I sent this to, I mentor some young players in my spare time anyway. I asked a kid like, what's your targets? I texted him, we got a group. And I said like, what's your targets this season? question marks, set your targets, plan the pathway to them, work towards them, reach them, then repeat, new goal, new target, and just keep repeating that all the time. And I, but the main part of that is to make sure that the goals that you're setting, they're achievable. You can't say, oh, I wanna play for England, or I wanna play for Man United, I wanna play for Chelsea. That's not achievable instantly. You have gotta set targets to get towards that. That's important. Start off by like working on certain parts of your game, work on weaknesses, build that confidence, build that desire, build that belief that you're going to be that player. 
And then just keep setting goals within that. Play for your local team, get scouted. Try and play, be a regular in that team. Get scouted for, 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 the, for maybe a West Ham or a Man United or Chelsea, whoever it is. Then you get in there and then you try to become the best player. And you just become, try and improve your game all round, all the time. Then you're on the right path. Always have that long-term focus in mind, at the back of your mind somewhere, but the most important thing to have the front of your mind is them short, early goals that you can keep ticking off to get to the long-term aim.